Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I've been asked uh, quite a few times recently where I've uh, purchased my uh, the stamp that I use on the back of my cards. Here's an example of one of them. This is a snowflake with a, it says created by Anna White. Um, where I've purchased the um, stamps and uh, so I thought I would do a quick video because there's uh, not just uh, one answer um, but several answers and several possibilities for you as well. So uh, here's an example of um, one of my custom stamps on the back of my cards. Um, this one's kind of hard to read because this is a textured cardstock here. Um, this is handmade by Anna White and then it has my blog um, underneath there as well, which again, hard to read because of the textured cardstock. Uh, this one says handmade by Anna White and it has a little snowman that I drew. And then this one is the one you've seen me use recently, which is that snowflake. So um, the ones that have my own illustrations like this on them that are um, that you're seeing that are uh, mounted on the clear blocks, they're cling red rubber. Those uh, whippersnapper made for me. Um, basically, I purchased an entire um, rubber stamp plate and I designed a whole bunch of created by Anna White stamps and they pressed them into stamps for me. Um, that's not really a, um, an option that's available to the general public. Um, it was like a one-time thing that they did for me years ago. Um, but there are some options available to you um, that you could do. Um, so here's an example of um, a wood mount stamp, the one that I had in my um, blog here at the bottom. This is one that I purchased from a company called rubberstamps.net and uh, I did design the um, graphic here and I did design the uh, text here at the bottom. That's my own handwriting. Um, you know, and I I designed the whole concept of this um, rubber stamp and then I uploaded my design to their website and they made it into a rubber stamp for me and it's laser cut um, so you when you get it you can actually see like laser cut details there um, but as you can see even with that font size which is like a font size two or three um, they were able to really very um, expertly get that cut um, in there had I designed this again I would make this a little bit bigger but um, this was the first stamp that I designed and had printed by them. So, um, you know, you learn something. You learn something every time you do something like this. Um, but the block itself is beautiful. It's um, nice and etched and just a really beautiful wood block. So that's one option for you if you are able to design your own um, uh, designs and upload them to their website. They can make stamps like this for you, and it's all it's all custom. Um, so again, that website is rubberstamps.net, okay? They also have the option of um, some self-inking stamps, which is like this one here, um, where it's um, the image is designed here on the top by you. Again, you have to be able to design the artwork, um, and then you uh, press down on the paper and the stamp comes down uh, from up inside where there's a, an ink pad that it self-inks from like that. So if I was to stamp this on a piece of paper, um, it looks like that. And again, if you use rubberstamps.net, you would, you would need to be able to design your own um, product. All right. But there are options out there as well from other companies where you can choose the design and you just customize the text. So that's, that's actually what I did for this one. I purchased this from um, Zazzle. And Zazzle is a company uh, that you can, um, artists can upload designs to and they can make them customizable. And then um, customers can go through and purchase the design that they want and customize it to their own details. So the website is zazzle.com, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E.com, and I'll leave a link to the websites down below. Um, you can go through, just search for custom rubber stamp, and you can search for the image that you like, and then you just customize it with your own address details. And then I chose the self-inking stamp, and you can choose your ink color. So I chose purple. Um, so that's what an example of a self-inking custom stamp looks like. Um, Here's, oh, here's another one actually from the same company that I ordered this one from, rubberstamps.net. Here's one that I use on my envelopes as a return address stamp. So again, it's a beautiful etched wood block. 
and then you can see that the stamp on the back here is etched as well and when I stamp this <clears throat> um, it leaves a very nice impression and stamps beautifully so uh, it's one option for you if you just want to do text but again you have to design it from rubberstamps.net so I just want to make that really clear if you order from companies like Zazzle they'll have um, designs like this that have fonts um, suggested fonts and you just replace that suggested font with your in, your own information so it's really easy to customize super easy to customize so um, they do cost a little bit more money than rubberstamps.net, but not much. Um, you know, I, I still order from Zazzle, uh, and uh, it's certainly not cost prohibitive. So, um, the other thing that you can look for are uh, handmade signature or signature stamps that come that are kind of generic. And so here's an example of one from Whippersnapper Designs. This is called Signature Series, and so all of the stamps in here are. Um, you know, t geared towards stamping the back of a card or stamping a, um, a tag, a uh, label of a handmade item that you've made, and then you would just sign your, sign your name. But the other thing that you could do is you could actually order a stamp that's just your name, and then you can use all kinds of stamps. Um, I would suggest that you use some of these small stamps that come in stamp sets. Um, if you just have a stamp that has your name on it, super easy to have made for you and then you can customize your handmade um, stamp on the back of your cards simply by using small images um, from stamp sets so it's something I do all the time uh, here's a chicken so this gives you lots of flexibility for having handmade stamps um, here's an example of one that I use all the time. <laughs> In fact, I probably need to get another one. It's been stamped so many times, it's actually getting brittle. Um, but it says handmade by Anna White, sweetmissdaisy.typepad.com. And it's just text, and so what I do is I like to stamp it on the back of my card, my card, <laughs> and then I can customize um, the image that goes with it. So for example, if I'm doing something that's Christmas, I can go ahead and stamp a reindeer and all of a sudden that becomes a Christmas handmade stamp. Um, I could go ahead and stamp um, some mistletoe. And again, Christmas, but it has a completely different look. Um, you could use, you know, small gingerbread stamps. This is one is from uh, Penny Black. You could stamp it um, like the top center. And so now all of a sudden you've got a gingerbread themed handmade stamp. So lots of things that you could do um, from the perspective of having a custom stamp, stamp that you can use with all different kinds of holidays and themes. So you don't have to have one that's just necessarily um, a chicken or you know a cow or a gingerbread man, whatever your thing is, you don't have to have just one stamp for every single um, season or theme. You can have a more generic stamp made that is just um, your basic information and or maybe just your name and then you can customize your own stamping with all the different little stamps that we, that we have. So that's an idea for you. Um, you can also watch for other stamps that are like this one here. This is a des uh, designed and stamped by, and then again, you would sign your name. Um, so these are quite popular as well. And pretty common to find, especially on the uh, used marketplace. So I think that one's a real cute one. I don't know who this one is by. Um, the company on the end of the stamp is all sketchy sketchy looking um, but you can also find those types of stamps other places as well this um, was a set from Hobby Lobby that I bought years ago 2011 uh, and it's all um, basically kitchen um, Christmas themed so here's from the kitchen of but it's a, with a tree here's one that's homemade with love that could be very generic a Christmas ornament this little handmade by has a little piece of holly here so this one has holly as well so you can look for um, stamp sets too. And then one other um, thing I'll mention here as far as stamps go 
is to check some of your old Stampin' Up! sets because a lot of them would have a stamp in it that matched the theme of the stamp set um, in it as well that was a hand stamped by and so what you would do is you would stamp this on the back of your card and then you would sign your name and uh, so there's all different kinds of these little stamps floating around uh, various stamp sets with within Stampin' Up and then also Stampin' Up had the uh, option of purchasing a hand, a hand stamped option as well that had their little copyright down at the bottom so like that one says hand stamped copyright Stampin' Up um, so you know, cutie cutie. <clears throat> and then also from Stampin' Up, I don't know if they still do it anymore, um, but you used to be able to actually order um, uh, handmade stamps and you could customize it with your name. They like set the font and everything, but you would just submit your name when you ordered the stamp. And then this one actually said copyright Stampin' Up. I cut that off of mine. <laughs> so I can use this on any card now and it doesn't have to be just Stampin' Up. Um, and I know I've talked about not, um, you know, defacing an image by cutting the rubber, but uh, nobody else is going to use this but me. So it's not like it's ever going to get sold and <laughs> reused by somebody else. Um, you know, these are all cute little images um, that can be used and just really quickly you can sign your name or, as I mentioned, um, get a stamp made for you that is just your name in kind of a generic um, font that you enjoy. Um, I really like a, a typewriter font. Um, or just a, a simple Arial font, and that will tend to go with just about everything so that you can use some of your holiday um, images. You may have something that's a little fancier or a little cutesy. A generic font will work really well with any of those types of images. So I hope that is helpful. Um, there are handmade, handmade stamps available on Etsy, which you can have customized, which are gorgeous. Some of them have the same type of wood mounted block like this that's etched. So I'm sure that the makers have a etching machine um, similar to rubberstamps.net where they have um, the ability to do custom stamps, but they're providing a suggested design layout for you. And all you would do then is provide the details that you want made into the stamp. Um, so you can check Etsy for custom rubber stamps. You can check Zazzle.com for custom rubber stamps. Um, if you want to design your own and upload the design to rubberstamps.net, that's an option available for you. And then companies like Tailored Expressions occasionally offers a um, handmade stamp that's customized with your name. You can purchase that as well. I know it's something that they only do a couple times a year, uh, times a year so you'd have to watch for that type of a sale. I think um, Stephanie at the Stamps of Life has offered that um, option as well in the past. Um, but I would start with uh, Zazzle. I would start with Etsy. And then if I wanted to, to uh, design my own, I would go to rubberstamps.net. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope you guys can all take the suggestion of, you know, having something that's just been generic with your name and maybe your website or your YouTube channel um, made, and then you can customize it with all different kinds of little images. Um, I hope you really take that to heart because this is an option that I use quite frequently. So anyways, I hope this has been helpful and uh, thanks for for asking about where I got my stamps and uh, I'm happy to share. So thanks so much for watching my video. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.